Okay, so we're right here on page six. And what's our first one? What was this? Isosceles triangle. Okay. And so what's the big thing about isosceles triangle? Two sides are the same. Two angles are the same. Angles that are opposite are the side lengths that are the same, right? So A, B, and C. So we would say A, B, the set line segment A, B is congruent to C, B. Okay? So that's how we would, that's part of an isosceles triangle. All right, what's a line forming a closed loop every point on which is fixed distance from a center point? That's a fancy word for what? A circle. A circle, wow. Job. Okay, and what's that look like? A circle with the center. Where are we on this this page, right? Where we left off. Okay, portion of the circumference of a circle is a arc. an arc. So that's part of the circle. So if it's from here to here, we might have an angle that goes out. This part right here is the arc. That curved part right there from the center, from whatever an angle. Uh, what's the next one? Radius. Radius. Okay. And what's the radius? What's the radius? You guys should know this. Any line from the center to any point. So it could be out here, it could be over here, over here, whatever, but it's just from the center to the end point. Why is this so fuzzy? Is that better? Okay. Um, lines that lie on the same plane and are the same distance apart over their entire length. So, which what, what are those called? Parallel lines. Okay. And what do they look like? Two lines or more lines that don't cross. And how do you tell if they're parallel? What's the notation that shows that they're parallel? They have the arrow. Yeah, they could have one arrow set or two arrow sets, something like that. Okay, and then the next page we have what? What kind of these? Right two line segments meet or cross. It makes over 90 degrees. Is that a right triangle? Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines. Okay, and so we have a straight line meets another line at 90 degrees. It is a um, perpendicular line. Okay, what's a perpendicular bisector? That's very different. Bisector has to do with the fact that you have to have a line segment. And then when you have a line that goes through it, that creates the 90 degree angle, the, it, it creates a midpoint where therefore this segment is the same as the segment. So from if we label these A, B, and C, then we would say A, B is the same as C, B. So it creates a segment bisector, a perpendicular bisector creates a 90 degree angle, Plus, it shows that there's two pieces to that line segment. 